hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well as you can see by the title um i am going to ikea so i do have a few things in mind that i need to get some nightstands for our bed obviously and we're just gonna look around i'm going with my mom i'm here at her house about to go in and we are going to head on the road so i'm gonna take you guys along with us and i hope you enjoy it yesterday but I got home pretty late and the lighting was bad but now it's raining today so the lighting is probably just as bad. Hi Lucy. Lucy's gonna pop in and join us for our little Ikea haul. Um, I have my receipt here so I think I'm gonna tell you guys the prices of everything that I got as well and I will try to link as much as I can down below in the description for you guys too. So the only thing I actually intended to get at Ikea were the nightstands, um, which I'm going to put together and show you guys once I have them up. So everything else was kind of like an impulse pick up buy, but still things that I'm definitely gonna use and will have a purpose for. I'm gonna start with my kitchen like items since that's what I have the most of. Um, so starting off, I got this little oven mitt type deal that actually has a hand i don't have one that has like the actual like sleeve and everything i only have the hot pad type ones um so i thought it might be kind of important to have this and this was 4.99 and then i also got a new french press i had one that i got in a fat fit fun box a while ago but a piece of it broke off and it wasn't working as well as it should so i got this one it was only 8.99 which i feel like is pretty good for french press i told you lucy was really gonna make an appearance for this video um so i got these two glasses i have this one um and then one i'm actually drinking my coffee out of this morning they're so cute they have like i don't know if you can tell but kind of like a rose <laughs> pink kind of undertone. I thought they would just be so cute for 
coffee, water, whatever. And they were only $1.79 a piece, so can't beat that. And then I got this little canister. I think Lucy knows it's for her. Um, it's gonna hold her treats. <laughs> yeah, I said treat. Um, it's just black. I thought it was really cute with this wood lid. I've just been keeping her treats underneath of our kitchen sink, so I kind of wanted to get something that would hold them. And let's see how much this was. I think it was $6.99, so super cute. And my mom actually purchased this with her stuff, but it's for a project that we have coming up. We got two matching aprons, super pretty green. Um, I don't know if you can see, it. you just wear it like around your waist, which is kind of cute. It's not the whole up top type of deal, but it has a pocket and everything. I think that these are just so cute, but my mom and I have a small little project coming up so i'll let you guys know when that happens that's all of the kitcheny type items so now we're kind of just moving into like miscellaneous so i got these covers for pillows i don't know if you can tell they're like textured kind of and they're gonna go on our couch so we just have these pillows back here right now um and i was thinking about putting these over this but i didn't realize that these are like I think 16 by 16 and these are for 20 by 20. So next time we're at Ikea or if I find a good deal on 20 by 20 pillows, I'm going to buy them and we're just gonna have two pillows on each side. So this pretty like rust kind of color and then the ones that are there right now. So these were $2.99 per piece and it's totally random, but I got a squeegee for 99 cents for a shower. And I also got this phone stand for only $2.99. Like this wood block that you can put your phone stop <laughs> camera let lucy get a hold of this last night and made her think it was her a toy so now she wants it. it has these ledges that you can set your phone in and like stand it up i guess if you want to like watch videos or read something for a recipe that'd be kind of cute okay so last two items in my bag i got this tray to put on my new nightstand um just for my side i'm not really sure what we're gonna do for cameron's nightstand on his side of the bed yet um i'm gonna put like my lotion different things stuff like that in here and then i thought this alarm clock was really cute too even if i don't use it just for like the aesthetic in there or maybe like off to the side with like other things in here i don't know kind of cute those are all of the smaller pieces i got and then we also just got our nightstands so today i'm gonna tackle those and try to put those together all by myself guys we got one down one to go it only took me like an hour i thought it was gonna take a lot longer but this is um what it looks like the lights bouncing off of it but it's this dark brown kind of wood color and it has this drawer that opens up so we can like throw junk in there i'll show you our nightstand situation that we currently have in a minute um yeah this is gonna be a lot better for us kind of matches lucy too <laughs> So don't mind the mess. This is just real life. These are clothes I need to get rid of and like just everyday junk. Um, but these are the side tables we have now. I also have my sheets in the washer, which is why that's awful. Lucy's always trying to get in the camera, huh? See, I'm just so cute. I know you want me on there. The people want to see me. <laughs> um, but these are the side tables we have now. My biggest problem with them is storage. So they were meant to put, I think, in like a family room. And this can hold like blankets and stuff because the top comes off. But I just put books down there. And I don't know. They just get really dusty and gross. And I just need a better organization system. And they're also really short. So I don't know if you can tell from this angle. But if I need to get a drink of water at night, I feel like I'm basically just reaching onto the floor. It's like a very far stretch. And the new ones I just put together are taller. So we're going to take these out. I think I'm going to leave one in our family room by our couch. I don't know what to do with the other one yet. Um, I'm going to do a deep vacuum while I have the tables out and everything too. And then work on styling the new ones. All right, so we got it kind of coming together over here. I'm not too sure about this basket. I feel like it's kind of big for the space, but we'll leave it there for now and see if I end up liking it. 
better later on. I'm gonna turn that a little bit. Um, and then I might put like nesting baskets down here on the shelf rather than books. We'll kind of see. I'll show you Cameron's side really quick. So this is what we have on Cameron's side of the bed so far. I think I want to get bookends to put here to hold his books and a few more over there. Or again, I might just do the nesting baskets. I'm not 100% sure. But these drawers are super nice because we used to just throw all of our junk in these little baskets. So now I put kind of his bracelets, jewelry, things like that, chapstick, and put the rest of it in here so it's a little more tidied up. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there for you guys. Cameron should be home any minute from work and I think we're going to head to the gym. So I hope that you guys love this little Ikea trip and haul and got some, maybe got some ideas for your apartment or home or whatever your living situation is. I love Ikea, they have so many fun, cute things, practical too, good for storage. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe down below if you want to support me and my channel and I will see you in the next video.